The Staglin Music Festival for Mental Health, held annually at the Staglin Vineyards in Napa Valley, is an event not to be missed. This is where it's at, and uh, if you want to, if you want to be at a great spot, I mean, the, the venue is phenomenal. I don't think there's a, a, a better view uh, in the Napa Valley than, than right here. I don't think I've seen this many fantastic wines uh, under one roof than you see right now. Progress is made. We're talking serious progress has been made because of what has happened here at the annual Staglin Music Festival. Congratulations to the Staglins. The Staglins set out on a mission. They sent out on a mission to find solutions to mental health issues. Some of the most difficult, bipolar, schizophrenia. They said, we can solve this problem. And they've set out to do it. We want to say welcome to all our heroes. Those are you. This is a chance to celebrate prevailing over mental illness since our own son got sick. That's been, uh, gee, it's been tw almost 20 years ago. Without some of the newer developments and newer medications, he wouldn't be a happily married man today, and he wouldn't be working productively, and uh, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. We like to share that story with everybody. The more people learn about uh, schizophrenia and other mental illnesses, the more they know that it's, it's a brain disease, it's a biological illness. It's not something you, that has any shame that should be associated with it. Each year, guests of the music festival enjoy award-winning cuisine and wines, along with incredible live music. And every cent raised at the Staglin Music Festival is put into research for mental health. Music itself today, Pat Benatar, is uh, only one aspect of the music festival. In the morning, they have the symposium, which allows a lot of us to get together and understand the scientific research that's being done with the donations. Um, and that's unique. This is the most administratively lean and fiduciary responsible place you can give your money because we underwrite all the expenses. So none of your money goes to pay for the napkins, the doilies, and the wine. We donate everything, it's dollar for dollar. You know, I think the thing that's really special about today is the people, um, everybody that comes together for this event. So not, you know, the guests that, that are here supporting it, the volunteers that fly in from all over the country to volunteer for the day. I mean, it's just a gathering of great people behind a really important cause. Fifty percent of us are going to have mental illness in our lifetime, and we don't do anything about it because either we don't know or we're embarrassed, we're ashamed because of stigma. If you have a mental illness or you have a family member that does, if you'll speak up about it, you're going to help change the world. I don't think there's a family in the United States of America who isn't somehow affected by mental illness. No one has taken this up a notch more than the Staglins. And what they've done with this music festival, and I think everyone probably knows, it's the single largest fundraiser for mental health in the country. And they've raised uh, pretty close to $100 million today. It's a worthy cause, that's a no-brainer. But it was also like the coolest tasting of the year to come to. Uh, they got everybody to say yes. So it would be like the only chance I'd ever get to taste Screaming Eagle and David Aber's wines and things like that. So quality tasting, quality people, a great cause. What's to say no to? To borrow a great ad line, I would say to all of you, just do it. Come to Napa Valley in the fall. And even if you can't get here, donate anyway. Your contribution will make a big difference. To donate or to learn more about the International Mental Health Research Organization, visit imhro.org or musicfestival.org.